we always get asked from people in other countries, how easy is it for me to live and to work in Germany if I don't speak German? Um, so what was like, Jen and Yvonne, your experience, I guess you were maybe like most people, you were not like fluent German speakers before you relocated. So um, how did you find that, that whole language experience? Well, I don't know if you have noticed, but actually Yvonne is German, so it would be a shame if she doesn't speak oh, German. Cool. You know what, yeah, I should have placed the accent I better. I still have uh, you know, word finding difficulties in German. <laughs> but most of my life I speak English as an adult, so. <laughs> but I can definitely answer that one. Um, and I would say job-wise, the way I have experienced it, at least here in Dusseldorf, is co tech companies tend to hire, because there's a lack of, of people in the market, they tend to hire a lot of international people. So I've had always English speaking jobs. Um, and most, some of them have, even has been where the company's uh, language is German, but the IT department's uh, English, I'm sorry, the German language was for the whole company, but in the IT department, it was English, for example, because there was just so many international people. So in my experience, you don't necessarily need to have a high um, level of German to get a job uh, in the tech industry. However, learning jum German was definitely the key to kind of like understand a little bit more my colleagues and the German culture and why things are done a certain way. Because even though things were explained in English, I think learning the local language is what has enabled me to kind of kind of understand Germans a little bit more. So I would say it's not required for a job, but for integration, I would say it's highly um, important in my opinion. Mm. And how did you personally go, go about learning the language? Was it, um, you know, private courses? Was it all at home? Was it uh, supported by the company you worked for? And then also, how did you find the experience of learning German? Yes, yeah, so it was a mix of everything, actually. I had a private teacher at one point. I also had um, language courses that I found on my own. Also, some companies paid for language courses or even when uh, teachers came to the campus and taught us German. I also tried to learn some German at home. Not so easy, I would say. But definitely my number one way has been actually to listen to local um, or German music. I love music in general. So listening to like German music and the lyrics not only has helped me increase my vocabulary, but also again, learn a little bit about the culture. Um, and the experience has been, honestly, for me, I'm not a very language different person, so it has been quite difficult. <laughs> um, it's ongoing. It's still an ongoing process. Although I would say I still, you know, get by, by this point I can, I'm, I'm very comfortable having um, to deal with things on my own, like bureaucratic things or, 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 or doctor stuff as well. And a lot of, um, even outside of the company, if you make a little bit of an effort to speak German and then you transition into like an English kind of thing, uh, people are generally very receptive of that. As long as they're seeing that you're making an effort first to speak the language. Mm -hmm. That's very good to know. And um, so from our perspective as recruiters for German companies, um, we have a mixture. There are some companies who for certain reasons, they just have to hire people that speak fluent German. Maybe the job requires you to deal with their customers and their customers are German companies or German people. Um, but increasingly, we are uh, being told that we can find people who only speak English and have a, a willingness and a motivation to learn German on the job and, uh, and will take some support from the company in doing that. And um, a few years ago, maybe five years ago, the more the most common thing was find us software developers that speak like B1, B2 level, and then we'll help them improve. And um, but that has kind of dissolved away as the demand for these skills has got so incredibly high. And um, the spoken language skills has been one of the first things that companies and employers in Germany of technology people have been flexible on. Um, and I'm talking from a perspective of hiring permanent employees into companies um is that the same for hiring freelancers alex and chloe like do you always need english or german speakers um i'd say freelancers are generally they're, they're based in Ger like most of them are based in germany uh, that we hire i'd say um and and they are generally the ones that that tend to get hired into the german speaking roles because they can't hire people on a permanent basis who can speak german um so yeah if we do get any any requirements you know, for, for german speakers it, it, sometimes it, it's because they can't hire a permanent german speaker so they hire a freelancer who can 
Um, but yeah, generally it's not a requirement. You know, they, they are quite open to, to hiring just English speakers as well, I'd say, yeah. I, I think so, as well that us as recruiters, um, the whole topic of this is to obviously try to att attract people who are not in Germany into Germany. Um, and the reason that, that we're able to do this in the first place is because our customers in general don't really tend to require us to have German speakers anymore for both permanent roles and, and for freelance roles, yeah? Backing up what Jamie said. So just from personal experience as well, um, I think also it really depends on location. Um, yeah. So some of the locations in regards to somewhere like um, Dresden or Braunschweig um, might need a little bit more German. Um, whereas somewhere like Berlin or Munich, um, they're more English speaking cities because obviously of um, people coming over and tourists and stuff like that. Um, a lot of people do speak English, but I think it really depends on what location it is as well. Um, because you have the sort of more, I suppose, traditional German, Germany kind of thing. And then more of a, okay, I'm moving to Berlin um, kind of thing. Everyone mm. speaks English now. I'm quite safe here from personal yeah, experience yeah. anyway. So yeah. the more rural and I guess I uh, slightly isolated the location you move to, the more important German language skills might become. But the major cities yeah. typically more international. Absolutely. That's, you know,